this video, we're going to demonstrate how to do filtering through the excerpts workspace. You can think of this workspace as a huge database that has cataloged every single excerpt that you've created in your project, along with any code applications and any descriptor information, memos, any other data that you have attached to that excerpt. So each of these rows is referencing a specific excerpt here. You can click into the excerpt if you wanted to do further coding on it or view it in full. And you can also scroll over to see any descriptor information you have associated with that excerpt. Remember that you can also search through your excerpts on the top here. So if you're searching for a specific phrase or word that you know came up in your data, you can always filter according to that. But we're going to be spending most of our time in this columns panel and this filters panel because this is where you can do some advanced filtering of your data. So first, let's start off in our columns panel. This allows you to adjust your view of what you're seeing in the database. So for instance, if I didn't really care about when the excerpt was created, I can go ahead and toggle that option off and you'll see the database automatically update to our right. And since in this project, it was just me coding, I can also toggle off the user. if I wanted to clean up my view here. You also have the option of seeing how long the excerpt was in terms of character count, what codes were applied, if you want to see those code names, and if you had any memos attached to those excerpts. And just below that, you'll see all of your codes listed. And this is really important. So if you want to do any filtering by your codes, you'll want to choose which codes you want to filter on. So for example, let's say I want to isolate some excerpts that had this abusive conditions code. I can click that box. And let's select a couple others here. As you select your codes, you're going to see the database update. So your code that you selected is now a column, and it's going to have a true false designation letting you know whether that code was applied to the associated excerpt. But to quickly filter and isolate the data that you want to be viewing, you can use this filters panel just below the columns area. So here you're going to have different units of analysis, different data points that you can filter on. So for example, you're going to see each of your codes that you just selected there. So if I wanted to quickly pull up every excerpt related to abusive conditions, I can hit true. You'll see our database updated and we have 58 excerpts total. And you can get as specific as you need here. So if you're really interrogating your data and trying to ask different questions, um, look at different dynamics, you can do so from this excerpts workspace. So let's say I also wanted to add descriptors into the mix. Let's say I wanted to pull up all excerpts related to this code from women in the study. I can check that women's box. Now we have 53 excerpts total, and all of my descriptor categories are listed here. So if I wanted to pull up and get even more specific with women's basketball players who were talking about abusive conditions, you can do so. You can also filter by the intersection of different codes or the absence of certain codes. So you'll notice you have the false option as well. So if I were to hit false, this is going to show me every excerpt that has abusive conditions applied that also does not have the code activism applied. So you can get as specific as you want here. You can also track code co-occurrence, although there is a great chart for that. But if you want to get even more specific and track, for instance, code co-occurrence in the intersection with different descriptor categories that you have, you can do so. All right, I'm going to clear out these filters and do another example here. So let's say I want to pull everything related to abusive conditions. So all excerpts that had abusive conditions attached and also the code coach interaction or relationship. So that is 42 excerpts. And let's say I want to get even more specific and have them be just from women. So we have 39. And let's say I want to create a subset of data. So I want to create a data set of just these excerpts. I can hit select all and then make set. 
So what this just did is it created a subset of data within your project. So now if I go to any analysis chart, I'll only be viewing data from these excerpts. So I can hit OK. You're going to see your data sets workspace glowing in red font. This is alerting you that you're not viewing your whole data set. You're just viewing those 39 excerpts. And remember, whenever you have a filter applied, you're going to see a new icon appear in Deduce, and that's that little funnel. This allows you to take off the filter temporarily. So if you want to see your full data set and do a quick comparison, you can. And then if you wanted to reapply, you can just toggle that filter icon on once more. From here, you also have the option to go into your data sets workspace and save this set so you wouldn't have to create that filter again. You can just save it. And you can also clear current sets. So if you want to clear out your filter and make sure that you're viewing all of your data, you can do so by hitting clear current set. And there you have it.